around corporately during the early 60s, late 50s, and we came here every summer to be with the family, and all my cousins had surfboards. And the summer came, I came back over here and bought a 9.6 Hudson at a pawn shop, so I had a real board. <laughs> I'd come over here and I'd see people with surfboards and food and I just didn't know what was going on. I thought something was cool was going on over there. So finally when I got old enough, he'd let me come over to this part of the beach. And I saw people surfing for the first time. The 70s were, this was kind of the ghetto. I mean, this wasn't the, the place where everybody wanted to be. It was kind of a rundown place and we kind of felt at home with that. I grew up downtown, it was kind of rundown, so it kind of felt like the right place to be and didn't know that if I could ever do that surfing part, but I liked being part of the whole scene. Before I knew it, I picked it up and just kept going and going and going, and that's been over 40 years. The authorities constantly gave the surfers a hard time for surfing too close, getting entangled up with the fishermen's lines. I ended up uh, being on restriction for six weeks because one time my uh, parents went out of town and uh, we had a place down in Sanford. They went down there to take care of the place. Well, guess what, it's party time. <laughs> Surfers were not looked upon as anything more than just beach bums because everyone's mind, they only knew that when there was surf, that's all we wanted, so they thought that's all we did. I always relate surfing to like guitars, you know, you got guys that play punk rock, you got guys that play hard rock, you got guys that play classical, and I think as you age as a surfer, you, you learn your style that you enjoy and either you master that or you move on. And Crystal clear water, sometimes surfing all day long with just a small group of friends, everybody knew each other, hanging out by the pier, hanging by the fire. Uh, had surf club meetings like with little Super 8 films we would watch. We, it was a close-knit group of surfers that all knew one another in the water and we were kind of like a, an emerging group. And, and I'd like to say that uh, something that really disputes the notion of surfers being lazy. Uh, surfing is something that takes a lot of work, a lot of dedication. Uh, you have to be really in good shape, but you got to work to get that little bit of excitement that you get out of every wave that you ride. So as a consequence, most of the people that I know are very successful in life that are surfers. 99% uh, of my friends are very successful. They're great leaders. They're great uh, family men. Uh, they're not drug addicts. They're very successful in life. <laughs> 